really pumped to be showing you guys another 10 WhatsApp tips, tricks, and hacks like disappearing messages, sticker pictures, QR encryptions, and a bunch of others. But stay until the end because I've got some awesome WhatsApp wallpapers you don't want to miss. So let's get into it. with dynamic wallpapers and this is a brand new feature to WhatsApp. It is so cool and what you do is head on over to your chat's wallpaper section, then select a wallpaper that you want specifically just for that chat. So as you can see, I want this heart wallpaper for Mr. Bean and not my entire WhatsApp. Click OK. And now if you go back into any other chat, you'll see the standard wallpaper. But if I go back into Mr. Bean, the bam, there is the custom wallpaper I just chose. This is such an epic feature. So whether you have a chat for work, your lover or friends, go ahead and customize it right now. If you've been using WhatsApp for a while, then you know all too well how quickly media, files, photos, and even memes take up valuable space on your phone. So here's a quick little tip on how to take care of that. So in the top right hand corner, you're going to go ahead and click on these three little dots and access settings. Once in there, go ahead and click on storage and data. Then right at the top, click on manage storage. And here is where you can see all that storage being taken up. You can see the storage from each chat and also any files that are larger than five megabytes. And here's what's really cool. If you click that select all button and tap the trash can, it'll delete all those videos in seconds and clear up a bunch of storage for you, as you can see. From there, you can access your individual chats and see what media is currently being stored in there and if you want to get rid of anything. So definitely check out Manage Storage and free up that precious space. Now advanced search is super nifty and let me show you why. If you click on that search icon, you will see a bunch of new options appear. So what you can do is type in a person's name like Hales, for example, but then go ahead and select the photos option. And now you can see every single photo that Hales has ever sent. You can also search for specific words like top secret, for example, and then anything that was labeled top secret, like this PDF, for example, will appear and straight from there, you can open it up and check it out. So not only can you do advanced searches with contacts or pictures now, but you can do it with GIFs, voice notes, documents, and so much more. Now, did you know you can actually make WhatsApp messages disappear, never to be seen again in the chat after just seven days? Check this out. So let's just say you're having a top secret chat with your buddy, but after a couple of days, you wanna clear up that chat. Then what you need to do is go ahead, click on their name and right over here, you will see disappearing messages. So if you tap on that, it'll give you a brief explanation of how it works. Then go ahead, toggle it on. And now what'll happen every single time after a message is sent, seven days later, the entire message will disappear. You'll also see which profiles have this on by that little icon next to the profile picture. So if you want any messages from the chat, make sure you've got them before they disappear. This is a great way to keep chats clear, so check it out. Did you know there are now more editing features for pictures within WhatsApp? So if you head on over to your status and select a picture, as you know, there are a couple of different things you can do to the picture, like adding text, changing the color of that text, as well as the font. But once you've got that all sorted out, then what you can do is go ahead, click on that little emoji icon, and in here, you will now see the option to add stickers. Not only can you add WhatsApp stickers, but you can add your own custom ones like this one, it is so much fun, but then check this out. If you swipe up from the bottom of the picture, you will access a bunch of different hidden filters. So you can run through all the different ones they've got, check it out on your picture. And I just love that we can customize pictures way more. Speaking of stickers, this is one of the best ways to respond to messages, especially if they are your own custom stickers. Although there are a ton of different emojis to choose from when responding to messages, I promise you there is nothing quite like sending your own custom sticker like this, and you'll turn some heads in your group and definitely make some people laugh. So to do this, all you're gonna do is download the Sticker Maker app. It is available on Android and iPhone. Then create a new sticker group and select the picture from your gallery. So 
I just selected this one and it can literally be any single picture of you. Then go ahead, tap this smart select button and as you can see, it cuts you out so quickly and even adds a border. From there, you can save that sticker to your sticker pack, add it to WhatsApp and in seconds, you can start using your own custom stickers and I guarantee you, your friends will ask you how on earth you did that. Now there's a really cool way to tell if messages between your friends and family really are actually private like they say and end-to-end -end encrypted. To do this, head on over to the chat you want to check and click on their profile section. Once in there, click on encryption and this is where your friend's own unique encryption code will appear. So what happens then is if you click this scan code, your friend will show your encryption code, you scan it, then as you can see this green tick appears which means your chat is end-to-end -end encrypted. If however they show a different chat that is not yours, you will get this error message that says your friend has opened the wrong chat and needs to open up your chat. So if you ever wanted to see if your messages between friends and family really are end-to-end -end encrypted, now you know how. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone has experienced a group where messages go crazy and sometimes just don't stop. So if that is the case, let me show you a pretty nifty tip on how to take care of that. All you do is access the chat and then click on this top bar section to access the settings. Once in there, you're gonna go ahead and toggle on this mute notifications. And here you will see the options of eight hours, one week, and now always. Pretty cool, right? So it's no longer the one year option. Instead, it's always and you can also choose to show notifications or not. So once you're done with that, go ahead, click OK, and now you will never have to worry about getting a ton of unwanted notifications, but at least still being a part of the group. Now this is beyond awesome and it's having the choice of light and dark wallpapers. So if you head on over to settings and tap on chats then wallpaper, you can go ahead and select a light themed wallpaper. They've got some for you to choose from and I'll also have some for you guys to download. But once you've set that wallpaper and you exit the settings, then what you're going to go ahead and do is swipe down on the notification panel and be sure to toggle on dark mode. Then swipe back into WhatsApp and head on over to settings again except this time you're going to select a dark themed wallpaper. Set that wallpaper and now every time you toggle to light mode, you guessed it, the light mode wallpaper appears which is so awesome and every time you toggle back to dark mode, the dark mode wallpaper appears. How cool! Then on to some quick tips and did you know you can use a custom notification sound for each chat. All you do is toggle on use custom notification, then scroll through the tons of different notification sounds they have and select one. And once you've done that, in future, anytime you get a notification from a specific chat, you will hear their each custom individual notification sound. And this also goes pretty perfectly with those custom wallpapers. Then if you didn't want anyone seeing your profile picture, if you head into the privacy settings and tap on profile photo, you will see these various different options to choose from. And what's really cool is how instant this is. So if you toggle to nobody, this is how your profile picture will appear on WhatsApp. And as mentioned, it's pretty instant. In seconds, your profile picture will disappear. But if you change your mind and toggle it back on, there you'll see your profile picture. Then for all my iPhone users out there, this is a pretty nifty hack on how to easily post pictures into WhatsApp. So you go ahead, select each individual picture, then click on the share icon and tap on copy photos. Once you've done that, head on back to WhatsApp and in the chat section, go ahead and tap on the text bar and then click paste. Instantly, all the pictures that you just copied from the photos album will be pasted. You can still go through them, make edits if you want, but then when you're done, click send and all your pictures will be sent quickly. Quick and easy. As mentioned in the beginning guys, I have a bunch of really cool wallpapers for you to download from my website that are completely free. These new wallpaper features are so cool, especially the light and dark mode. So I specifically made five sets of dark and light wallpapers that you can choose from. They're in a bunch of different colors and as mentioned, you can go to hailsworld.com, click that download button and it'll instantly save to your phone. Here's just a closer look at the blue one. I think it looks amazing and all links will be down below in the description. 
As always, with any application like WhatsApp, be sure to check out the app privacy as well as data details so you know exactly what is happening with your information. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more tech tips and tricks, don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!